so Red, going into the vote, how confident were you that you were going to stay? Going into the vote, honestly, I wasn't very confident at all. I'd heard some murmurs around my house. I'd seen some weird behavior. Uh, you always get that little bit of a, an inclination that something might be going on. Uh, but I did have a lot of people telling me that I was good. So I'd say I was about 60, 40, 60 that I'd stay 40 that I'd leave. So it was a bit of surprise. Who did you think like, okay, I've got these votes, these votes I'm not sure about. Well, honestly, I, I thought for sure the only two votes that I knew for sure was Bowie Jean and I thought Sari, uh, but apparently not. So. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's interesting you say apparently not. So, you know, you've only been out of the house about 12 hours at this point, Red. So, like, I don't even know what you know at this point. What have you heard in terms of what really happened in that conversation between Cameron and Jared? The gist of it is it probably wasn't exactly how I thought it was. Now, due to my honesty and loyalty, when I tell somebody that I'm going to do something or I ain't going to do something, I stick to it. Uh, I hadn't got down to having that conversation with uh, Cam yet, and uh, honestly, I believe maybe I should have, uh, but at the end of the day, you can't compromise your, your morals and uh, your integrity, I, I guess. So I don't reckon I'd change anything, but I'll be giving him a big sorry at, at some point. <laughs> why? To tell me, like, why did you not confirm with Cameron what Jared had said instead of just taking Jared's word for it? You mentioned something like maybe you had had some feelings that was happening anyway, or was it that you just it was so painful that you didn't want to have that conversation with Cameron yet? Tell me what it was. Well, I, I didn't want to act emotionally in the moment. And also I'd heard from other people that this was going on too. So it seemed to be collaborated by a couple other people in the house, which were obviously working with Jared. And because I had given my word to not say anything about it, uh, because there was a plan to backdoor Cam. And if he had said the things that he had said, uh, then I, I was on board with that plan. You said you thought you had Ceri's vote. Uh, it's It seems like a lot of people think they're... Very, very, very close with Sari. What is she doing in the house to make you and everyone feel so comfortable around her? I think she's just really calm, collected. And uh, I think she's been in these scenarios before. So I think practice makes perfect. I think with Survivor, it may have uh, uh, trained her up a bit to, uh, to fib a little, I would say, and uh, make people feel comfortable about it. You, you've had some time to digest the news now that Sari and Jared are mother and son. What, if anything, would you have done differently in this game had you known that piece of information going into it? Is there anything now that you look back on, you're like, yep, I would have done this differently. Maybe I would have targeted these people. Maybe I wouldn't have said this to that person. If you'd known that, how would you have played differently? I believe I'd have definitely been more careful with my information. Uh, when you got uh, people that are that close, uh, you, you really got to be more leery of their relationship uh, because of their communication skills. I mean, they've, they've been together their whole life. Um, so they know each other uh, really, really well and, and would have each other's best interest in mind. So I think they would have definitely been more of a target early on and I would have been more leery about the things that I was hearing from either of them. You know, once you put the uh, the chillers on ice, uh, as it were, who are you looking to, Red, as your new sort of number one or the person you hoped you could make that connection with? You had such a strong bond with Cameron. You thought that was severed. Were you trying to find someone else to replicate that with, or what was your plan? I don't know about replicate. The, the thing that me and Cam had was based on basically where we're from, you know, and the kind of upbringing that we had and such like that. Uh, the fact that we're both uh, girl dads, dads in general. Uh, but there were other couple people that I felt like I was close to. Uh, I mean, I found out Matt had a, an alliance with Jag from day one, but I, I did feel really close and comfortable with him. Um, and it turned out Bowie Jane, uh, she was just absolutely amazing in stepping up into that position, even though I didn't really pursue that as much. I think she's a really loyal individual and there's a lot to be said for her character. It's interesting that you sort of, uh, you know, Bowie Jane did vote for you to stay, uh, as did Cameron. You said the two votes you thought you were going to get were Bowie Jane and Sri. So you thought Cameron was going to vote you out. I honestly thought that he would go with the house on that um, if if that was the case. Those were the only two that I felt sure about because I had felt betrayed by him. So I didn't want to include him as a vote. Uh, and then feel betrayed again, you know? So it was kind of a, although I had an inclination that he would vote to keep me, uh, it wasn't something that I was willing to verbalize just out of, you know, I felt like I'd already been burnt once, you know? 
You know, it's interesting, Red, because early in the season, we heard some people say, hey, we got to watch out for Red. He could be, you know, really good in competitions and really strong there. Do you wish you'd perform better in the competition? Was that frustrating for you? Because we always kind of saw you go into things thinking, hey, this could be the one where he takes it. And then it just sort of wasn't happening. Yeah. And well, and with comps, I mean, these games are designed that anybody can take them. A lot of them were luck. I think the one that I did really well on is ones that I can get hands on, that I can observe and then act. There were some that it's just one little thing that may change the whole course, honestly, like uh, the odd couples comp for HOH. That's my kind of thing. I'm very visually responsive uh, and quick with that sort of thing. But the buttons on our side were inverted. So when you look at the screen, you know, you may see the answer really quick, but then you have to stop a tick and think, well, now I got to hit the button in the opposite direction. And uh, that kind of done me in there. And uh, every competition that I went in, I went in with the same mentality. I'm giving 125 percent. Who's playing the best game in the house? Like not, not who you want to win, but like if you're just, you know, from what you saw in there and obviously you only know certain things at this point, but who do you think is playing the best game? I think right now, as far as uh, Sari is playing an awesome game, if she was able to get that over on me, I mean, I felt really close and connected with her. And I think a lot of people do. Um, I think she's set up to go far, but I also think Cam is a competitor. I mean, he is smart. He knows a lot about the game. I don't think they look at him as much of a super fan as some of the others, uh, i.e. Corey and America and Izzy. Uh, but I think he's got a good chance, if he can keep winning, to stay in there. And if he can keep doing that long enough to where he can build maybe an alliance and uh, somehow recover from the deceit from the other side, that I think he can do really well. It's a, you know, Big Brother is, I feel like, an experience with like a lot of extremes of like high highs and low lows. You know what I mean? As as you look back on what were sort of like your highest and lowest moments in the house? Well, obviously, uh, anytime you win something, there's that you get that dopamine, that adrenaline rush and all that. So uh, winning the artifact stack uh, was definitely one of those high moments. And also my birthday. I mean, uh, even though some of the people that were in that. Uh, weren't necessarily on my side. It was nice to see the whole house come together um, just for me in that moment. And, and for me, it was also hilarious. That was absolute high point. I've never laughed so hard in my life. As far as low points go, I think uh, feeling like I was betrayed by somebody I considered a very, very close friend uh, was the lowest point. It's uh, one of those situations where you can build relationships way faster than you would on the outside world because those are the only people you got. So it's it's an interesting little fishbowl that we're in there. And, it, and it's, it's odd how it affects the way that you develop relationships for sure. So I felt really close to Cam really quickly. And, you know, that hurt when that got disrupted. It's natural to like, when you look back and for anyone that doesn't win uh, the game to say like, Oh, I wish I'd zigged instead of zagged there, or done this instead of that. If you could go back and change one thing about your game that maybe would have led you down a different path, what would it be? Well, with the information that I had in the game, you know, uh, I don't think I'd change anything. I was playing the game that I felt like I should play, one of loyalty and honesty and integrity. Um, and going back, I mean, would I lie and uh, cheat and manipulate? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I feel pretty good about the game that I played, even though I was played a little in the game uh, or quite a bit. Uh, I don't think I'd go back and change anything, really. A uh, last one for you, Red. Does it, does it hurt to not make the jury or is it nice that you have your freedom and can go home and not be stuck in the jury house, maybe? It's a bittersweet moment, to be honest with you. The, the thing I've struggled with most has been um, missing my family. So I was thinking if I wanted to go out, which I did, didn't really want to go out ever, but if I was going to go out, let me put it that way, um, I'd rather went out pre-jury as opposed to going out and then having to sit for an extended period of time without seeing my family while not playing the game. I think that would have been tough as well. It's tough to say, but I, I think the time I was supposed to go out was the time that I went out. So I'm, I'm tickled with it.